Hello and welcome to another quick tip on our Spotfire Mods mini series. Today we're going to do the bump chart. <sighs> now, what is a bump chart? Here is the bump chart in a description on a blog. And a bump chart shows a ranking of a certain category over time. So you have the start ranking and then you have the end ranking. And you can see that change over time. So we're going to be using again this cryptocurrency historical prices. And today you can go ahead and download this. It's an open data set. You can download it from Kaggle. It's a Kaggle data set. Now, with Spotfire Mods, you'll see mods on this page. Uh, it's tipco.com forward slash mods. And if you go down, you'll see Bump Chart is one of our newer mods. You can click this, it takes you to the exchange. And just like our other videos, you can go ahead and download this mod and it'll give you a zip file. You just unzip that, you download that zip file, save it unzip it on your local drive, you'll get a .mod file, a mod file, drag and drop it into Spotfire, and then you're ready to go. Now, I've already done that, so let's go ahead and go to Spotfire. So we have our cryptocurrency price history that we've been using, and I did a little bit of data transformation to bring this in just for the year of 2020 and to show it for each month. So I have a little bit of data transformation in here, and you know, I use some pivots, unpivots, and calculate columns. So now I just have each symbol over time and the price. And then, very important, you want to have some form of ranking in here. So I rank this by price, and we're going to see how that price change compared to the others over time. Um, and that that ranking can be various forms, but what I used was the rank equation. So rank is an expression. I rank by price, and I did it by month. So for each price, for each, for each ticker by month, and then I did it in descending order. So that's the rank expression, and I created a column named ranking. So now let's go ahead and go to our visualizations. I'm gonna just go ahead and clear all this out, and let's go ahead and start with a bump chart. So here I have my bump chart towards the top. I've added this. Okay, so first thing, what do I wanna align it by? I wanna align it by each, you know, each symbol, okay? What do I want each period to be? I want each period to be a month. What do I want the ranking to be? Well, I'm gonna use my ranking column. And what do I wanna color it by? I can color it by ranking, and you're gonna see these colors change, but I actually rather color it by the symbol itself. Um, and instead of symbol, let me go ahead and change that actually to name as well. So now we have the name in there of the cryptocurrencies. So I have the color by here, I have the symbol shown here. Now one note is the ranking's gonna show up here, and there's not a lot of space for it. So your ranking column needs to be, you know, just a few characters. Next is gonna show the beginning ranking uh, based off of your line by column. So I could change this to name, it'll show the name there. Um, I can change it to, you know, what, you know, whichever one I want, but I want this to match. So I have, this is showing the line by and the line at the finish ranking and the beginning ranking are shown there. And then this is, as I showed you, this is what I set to month and that's your series. So if I want, if I want to, what we're seeing here is this Ave coin, I may be saying that wrong, uh, is doing pretty well. It's jumped in a lot in the end of 2020. Um, we see Uniswap went up, kind of came down. We have another big growth one on Polkadot is another big growth one, this kind of a tan pink color. Um, the Crypto.com coin is kind of dropping down. Um, so a lot of these same pretty level. Uh, of course, we got Bitcoin and Ethereum at the top here, Monero, Litecoin. They've stayed pretty sim similar on the rankings. Um, but this gives you a kind of a good sense of what's dropping down. This EOS, this has kind of dropped down quite a bit. You can see this light purple from where it used to be. Now, if I want to mark this, I can go ahead and mark this. You can click each of these little dots. You'll get that ranking for that dot showing up in the label. Um, or you can click the line itself, and if you click the line, you can see the entire series of whichever uh, whichever uh, coin you're looking at. So this Aave coin, it's the reason it's probably jumping up is because it was at empty ranking to begin with. It didn't it didn't exist, so it's probably a new coin that's jumping up, and that's why we're seeing all four of these jump up so much. So that's it for a bump chart. Really useful for showing rankings. Think about using it in your analysis. Download that from the community for free, and uh, we will see you next time. Thanks.